Hello there and welcome to this session. In this study I am going to be continuing with creating database forms and editing database forms. We've already been through the first two sessions where you've created a simple form using the wizard. You've also done the second one where you've now learned how to reshape the data fields and move stuff around on the database. We are now going to deal with multimedia and making your database look a little bit flashy, making it look a little bit more presentable. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the student details form that we've been working on. I want to remind you again about the views. This particular view here is the, design, um, the form view which we have here, which shows us what we've done. To make any changes to it, we will need to go into design view, which is where we will be making our changes. The first thing I want to point out is the toolbar. In design view, you have design, you have arrange, you have format. The first thing I want to talk about is the logo. You have all by now created a logo, and I'm going to show you how to insert the logo into the header, which is where the logo should be. The first thing I'll do is I'll move my mouse and I will go to the logo button on the top. Click it once and I will select a logo which is basically a picture. Um, you guys have already created a logo, I haven't. So I'll just insert this picture as my logo and there it is inserted. I can click it and I can move it into different ways. I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay. I can move it whichever way that I want I can move my logo somewhere else if I wanted to alright it's not really that difficult you can move it whichever way that you want basically um, I have my student details form I have a logo you can format your logo and move it around the header for the moment I will leave my logo where it is the next thing I want to talk about is once again the title of the form itself if I click on title I can change the title of the form to whatever it is that I want it to be I can change it I can change it to enter student details okay it depends upon whatever it is that I want to use the next thing I also want to point out is formatting in terms of themes if I click on themes here I can choose a variety of themes which are already been given in Microsoft Access I'll choose this one and you realize that when I choose it it's applied and certain things about my form changes next thing I want to talk about again is inserting a background picture changing the color of the detail section okay if I go to format okay and I click on background image I can actually insert an image as my background okay to see what I've done so far I can go to home I can select view and I can select form view and that will show me what I've done here okay I have my logo I have my title okay I have a background image if I wanted to use that okay so that is one way of doing it next thing I want to point out again okay a final thing I'd actually like to point out is this toolbox here in the design view you can actually insert quite a few things okay you can change the color of the of the background if you go to format you can fill I'll show you what I'm doing if I click on format okay and I select some of the text in here I can actually fill it in with a different color if I wanted to okay but remember contrast because this color is blue it might not make people see the fields properly okay so I'll look at what I've done go to form and go to the view form view as you can see this is what I've done now but remember okay that the color that you choose must contrast so that people can see what your fields are as you can see my fields are not so clear because of the color that I've chosen and that is how you format you enter some multimedia enter some pictures enter a logo enter some background color that is how you do